Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Simnaya. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So I came across this video. And this is also a very huge warning to a lot of people who are gearing up or getting ready to use that word. Now, there is this video that I came across where a brother who a palm colored man has been harassing him and his family, especially the kids, using the slow on the children, right? So the last one that happened, he said that right in front of the children and the man did not take it lightly and he straight up on his face and he kind of uh, fainted, right? Paramedics came and he said that he's fine and uh, he refused to go to the hospital and eventually went home. So after that, I think he had series of problems and uh, and Christian the paramedics was called and uh, he was eventually taken to the hospital and then he he did not make it, right? So this is a very huge warning for so many people, especially those that think it's everybody that can take it. Because I did not say anything when you use that slow on me, it does not mean the next person is going to take it lightly with you. And I keep asking myself, what do you gain using a slow? In particular, people have already made it clear that this is not good for us. Stop using it on us. Why are you still using it? You know what? Let's get into it. Anthony Collins, this you? All right, let's get it. You see this? This is a mugshot of Anthony Collins, 41 years old. And he is my hero. You see the face of Anthony Collins in this mugshot? That is the face of a man who knows what he did, intentionally did what he did, and if given the chance, would do what he did all over again. Anthony Collins should be the CEO of the Fuck Around and Find Out Committee, and he should be used as a cautionary tale for all you bigots and racists that think there are no consequences for you using the N-word especially in front of a man's children. Now recently, Anthony was sentenced for what he did. And I'm gonna talk about that sentence in just a moment. But let's talk about what Anthony did. On September the 18th, 2023, Anthony Collins punched a white man dead in his shit after said white man had been harassing his family for months. And on that day, ran his bicycle into Anthony Collins' fiance and began hurling racial slurs in front of Anthony Collins' children. Anthony Collins punched this man so hard, it knocked him out and he struck the ground. Now, when paramedics arrived on the scene, Robert Mays refused medical treatment and said he wanted to go home. So they let him go home. Later that day, Robert Mays began to act erratically at home. Paramedics showed up at his home and took him to the hospital. This happened in Seaside Heights, New Jersey. Robert Mays didn't die to October the 1st, but an autopsy determined that the cause of death was the blunt force trauma he received in the incident that occurred on September the 18th. An arrest warrant was issued in connection with the death of Robert Mays for Anthony Collins on October the 4th. He turned himself in on October the 15th and he has been in jail ever since. I want you to take a listen to what the judge said at his detention hearing last year. Appreciates that the use of the N-word is reprehensible and it can be something that provokes reactions in people. However, first, the remedy for that type of conduct, if it was occurring, would be to report it to police. Secondly, the remedy for that type of conduct is not to strike someone which causes serious bodily injury resulting in death, particularly when we have a defendant who is 40 years of age in good physical and mental health and strikes an elderly man, 70 years of age, on a bicycle. Yeah, that didn't work. Maybe the police should have done something about the harassment that Anthony Collins and his family suffered at the hands of Robert Mays for all those months. Now, Anthony Collins has been sentenced in connection with the death 
of 70-year-old Robert Mays after he hurtled racial slurs in front of his children. And that sentence was three years. And he'll serve about 31 months of that sentence due to the No Early Release Act that New Jersey has that requires individuals in this situation to serve 85% of their time. While it's not the win we would want, it's the win we will take. In 31 months, Anthony Collins will be back at home with his fiance, raising his children, and getting on with his life. And Robert Mays will still be dead. See, it reminds me of something my grandmother used to tell me. She said, I would rather have to visit you in prison than visit you at the cemetery. Let this be a cautionary tale for all of you all who are out here talking about your freedom of speech and you should be able to use the N-word to black people anytime you think you're ready. There are more of us like Anthony Collins than you think. I'm so sick of you Negroes and Negresses complaining about slavery. It's not the white man's fault. Blacks sold other blacks. 583 years ago, 1441 AD. All right, we made it over here, y'all. We're in Africa. And you know, like Prince Henry, the navigator told us to do, we're here to spread the good word of Jesus Christ. We have to get them to convert to Christianity. That's our only purpose here. So let's go talk to this African leader and let him know that we're here for nothing, just good intentions. Mm -hmm, good shit, but Mr. Conquelo Vejo Cabral, those aren't African leaders, those are Arabs. Hmm. Whatever. Let's go talk to him. Hello, Arab people. We are explorers for... Would you like to buy slaves? Hell yeah. We, I mean, no, no. But we're here to spread the good word of Jesus, Christianity. This is the first we're hearing about this slavery. Exactly two years prior, 1441 A.D. You know, guys, I and Tal Gonzalez was thinking, we're Portuguese. We're in West Africa. There are some Africans. Why don't we make history and be the first Europeans to capture and enslave those Africans? Yeah. Put them on the boat. Well, we have boats. All right, you convinced me. Fine. We'll take a couple hundred slaves. It's crazy because we happen to have two ships that are perfect for holding a couple hundred slaves. But again, we came over here to spread the good word of Jesus. I am curious, though. How'd you get all these slaves? It's got to be at least a million. A million? It's far more. But anyway, we've been doing this for at least 1,500 years, literally. We've got a whole bunch of slave ports you can use. We just like to enslave them, kill them, rape their little girls, put them in harems, and castrate their boys. Oh, by the way, there's a couple African leaders who would have no problem selling slaves to. Their own people? Why would they do something like that? Also, what's going on with this spread of Islam? Because we're going to have to stop that instead of Christianity. Hmm. It's funny that you brought up Islam because it is spreading all throughout the places that we go and capture African people to torture them. Then it kind of looks like we may or may not have set up these African leaders so that they wouldn't go to war with us about us kidnapping their people. Hmm. Yeah, that would make more sense. Well, thank you for the slaves we definitely didn't come up here for. We're not even familiar with this, but we'll take them off your hands. All right. This one's an African leader here for sure. Let's go ask him about, you know, whatever. Hello, African leader. What do you want? Slaves. Well, our slaves come from capturing them during war with other nations, and we eventually set them free after a time period of servitude is... Y'all slavery the same way? Yes. Well, you do have that musket in my face and it does seem like I might be a corrupted leader put in place by some Arabs. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, so, okay, have at it. Between 20 to 40 years later. Hey, uh, African leader, what's going on? Why are y'all fighting against us now and not just giving us your slaves? because we found out what y'all was doing to him over there. Well, this just won't do. So we're just going to start taking them on our own. And we don't give a fuck who it is, royalty, regular person or not. Everybody's coming. Them Europeans are some idiots. 
We had all this shit set up over a thousand years and they still can't do it right. <laughs> well, we're going to carry on even until 2024. We'll still do it. We did it, boys. We got all of Europe following our footsteps, snatching, stealing, graping, killing African people. I can't wait for my descendants to turn it around and blame it on them as if there was no buyers of those slaves. They hold most of the responsibility, even though in the end we just ended up taking them all, even royalty. I think we'll keep doing it for a few hundred years. So, so this is all I got from this video and um, really this is kind of sad but I am happy that uh, he will still come back home to his family because it's really amazing how there is love for everybody, love protecting everybody from, you know, being harassed, anti-Semitism, law and all that. But there is no single law to protect people that look like me. It's okay for them to wake up and use the slur of black people. And not just only that, he's been harassing them for long. And look okay, now, because I really had to, to, I took my time to go uh, down to the comment section to find out that uh, when Anthony punched, uh, like, you know, the other the man, he kind of fainted, and the paramedics actually came to give him first aid, but he refused and went back home. So when he went back home, I think after a while or some time, he eventually was uh, sick or ill again, and then rushed back to paramedics came, and then eventually he gave up the horse and all that. So what I am saying in essence is that there is no single law protecting people that look like me from, like, you know, from so many dangers. That is one of the reasons why it is okay for them to come out and say some certain things to us without even getting any punishment. And also, I know it's a hate crime, like, you know, using the slur on somebody. But is it like, you know, is it like, you know, is it, is it in the law or something, you know? I mean, the whole thing is just really messed up. But then, I am not going to say that I love it for, I love what happened to Anthony, but it's also more like, you know, a huge lesson for other people because sometimes they think they can get away with some certain things. Like I keep saying, there might be someone that will never ever bother when you use the N word on him, but maybe not just because he used it on him. He was just using it around even both the kids and harassing them, right? So I am sure the man probably might have had it like, you know, up on his neck and decided to take actions into his hands and all that. You know, it's really very disgusting that, I mean, you they think it's okay for them to use that slow, of, like, you know, any tiny thing, you see them using the slow on a black person. And then they tell you that uh, it's been long ago. Nobody does that. Nobody uses it. And the rest of it, this is more like F around and find out. Like I keep saying, I might, because I tolerated you does not mean that another person will tolerate you. Another person might not tolerate you. Another person might not take a shit from you. So for those that are still planning to say it, I hope you see what happened to the other man. He is no longer alive. Hope you know that. And Anthony will still come out. He will still come back, come out from prison or wherever he is and still go back to his family. But the other one is no longer alive. So you all really better be smart. Why are you saying that? Or well, better still, Tell yourself that there is no need for you using that word because it's a slur and that is what it is. Stop using a slur on somebody. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.